Hello everyone, welcome to Zero One. I am Ashutosh Kumar and today we will progress on our next video tutorial. So in previous video tutorial, I told you about character set. I told you about character set. Let us revisit it. So character set in C consists of first letters, digits, special symbols, and then white spaces. So, letters it consists of small a to small z, capital A to capital Z, digits from 0 to 9, special symbols will comprise of, for example, at the rate, has, dollar, and so on. White spaces like space, tab, new line. So, this was the character set in C. We will see how we will be using this in our programming. Okay. Now, let's on move to the next topic that is C tokens. So, what are C tokens? So, every valid character or punctuation in C comprises of C tokens or what we call as token. So, what it consists of, okay? So, it consists of keywords, identifiers, constants, special symbols, characters or strings and white spaces. So these are you know C tokens. So what are keywords? I told you earlier that keywords are reserved keys that are reserved in C. So we have 32 keywords in C. So, keywords have a special meaning in C. Identifiers, identifiers are name of arrays, functions or variables. We will get the idea of array, we will get the idea of array and function in later video sections. I've told you what variables, what are variables. So basically identifiers identifies. We, we give a name to function, array or variable. Those are known as identifiers. So constants, we will come on this topic. Special symbols I told you at the rate, has, so on. Characters like A, B. Strings are like hello. So strings are collection of characters. So these are characters or string. White spaces, it includes space, tab, new line. Okay, new line is denoted by backslash n. We'll see how to insert new line or tab in our programs. So this everything, this are these are known as C tokens. Okay. So you would be wondering what uh, is the use of this C tokens or we will see how we are using keywords or identifiers or constants or special symbols, characters, white spaces in our program that everything will be clear. But for now, you, you we have to know these terms. What does these terms exactly mean? Okay. So the next thing what we will discuss is constants. So constants can be the numeric constant or character constant.
अगेन न्यूमरिक कॉन्स्टेंट इज इंटीजर कॉन्स्टेंट और रियल कॉन्स्टेंट कैरेक्टर कॉन्स्टेंट वी हैव सिंगल कैरेक्टर कॉन्स्टेंट and strings so what are integer constants when we write 2 10 80 these are integer constants these are integer constants when we speak about integer constants we cannot write 2.5 or 2.7 or any decimal values okay and we can have plus 2 or minus 2 minus 11 if we mention a minus it means we have mentioned a negative integer constant if we haven't mentioned anything before the number it means it is a positive integer constant now coming to real constant 11.05 12.85 these are real constants sign rule applies same as in the case of integer constant now Consider two one one point eight five. We can write this as two point one one eight five e two. So this is basically in this form. Mantissa e exponent. Okay. So whenever we encounter this form, this means 2.1185 multiplied by 10 to the power 2 had it been 3 in place of 2 we would have multiplied by 10 to the power 3 had it been 4 we would have multiplied by 10 to the power 4 or so on so this is the representation of real constants okay now let us discuss what are single character constant and what are string constant so characters like a or c so a single characters these are known as the single character constants the strings for example hi enclosed by double quote by harsh so these are the string constants okay so this was the idea of constants in c now let us move in data types let us discuss data types in c so in c we have three types of data one is primary data type derived data type and then user defined data type okay we will discuss this derived data type and user defined data types in future sections let us focus on primary data types so primary data types are in c are sorry character integer float double okay these are the primary data types in c so it is denoted by char int float and double so what are data types so suppose we say a 
then we say 2 then it is 2.5 so this is a character type of data okay this is a character type of data this is an integer type of data integer constant this is a decimal value so this this will come under float so decimal will come under float sorry decimal will come under float or double the only difference is that double data type will have a larger range than that of float okay again collection of characters say hello this is a string so c has given us features to decide the data types okay we will see how we will be using these data types in manipulating our program or input of data so this was the brief idea of data types in later video in later video sessions we will discuss about this and we will write a sample program to have a clear idea on data types and we will differentiate between keywords and identifiers and we will use all other terms discussed in this section thank you for watching Please like and subscribe our channel 01.